Hi, appreciate you tuning in. Uh, this is part one of a two-part uh, video uh, series on uh, my trip to the NIH uh, National Institute of Health in uh, Bethesda, Maryland. Went there, I talked with, uh, actually, and got opinions from three doctors here in San Diego about my situation. And each one, because there's no set in stone uh, procedure for my particular situation, which is now I find out is commonly known as uh, micro uh, metastatic uh, prostate cancer. Uh, to refresh some of you who may have missed my prior videos, is I had a radical prostatectomy, it was removed. If all you looked at was the results of that removal, it was great, it didn't get, the margins were good, it didn't get outside, but my doctor had some of the fat that comes out with it on the outside analyzed and they found uh, prostate cancer in one of the lymph nodes on the outside already. So basically it's, it's in my system and uh, after about six weeks from that surgery I had to wait for the body to calm down. We did another PSA test and it was pretty much undetectable. But the fact that it was on the outside means it's out there and going around. So uh, uh, one, uh, one doctor suggested that uh, nothing be done and uh, wait to see that if the PSA level starts to move up and then at that time make a decision on what to do. Uh, another doctor suggested that possible uh, radiation of the pelvic area might be the thing to do now. And then the third doctor, an oncologist, told me various uh, alternatives of what I could do including um, the hormone treatment, but also said in my particular situation where my PSA was zero now, um, that he really wouldn't know what to suggest. So long story made short, I went to uh, uh, the NIH. It was a very interesting trip out there. And uh, the way I look at it is it's a, uh, a second opinion. But what's, what's really unique about it, it's not a second opinion just from one doctor. What happens is they, uh, they take a, a blood sample from you. Well, I, I should go back before that. They ask for all the documentation from your current doctor, from your current surgery. And not just the documentation, they ask for the slides, the pathology slides. So sure, they're gonna look at the report, but they're gonna look at their original material, so to speak, and draw their own conclusions. And what happens is that there's five doctors on a panel that review your case, and then two or three of them come in to talk to you about the conclusion. Um, so basically, you're getting a, a free second opinion, but it's a second opinion of the consensus of five top doctors. Uh, now before this, I was thinking of getting a second opinion from the Mayo Clinic. There's one in a branch in Arizona. But all those uh, are terrifically expensive. And uh, this turned out to be totally free. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're interested in this and for further information, because I want to keep this short, be sure to tune in to my subsequent video where I'll go into detail about it. Appreciate you listening.